Okay, after that excitement of the Grand National and well done to Leon Van Rensburg, a bit of a Grand National master winning it two years on the trot. So we move on to the John Smith's handicap chase over three mile one furlongs and all to 160 handicap. Sounds of the Marina for Darren Thompson is number one. The Mighty Eight for Joshua Sutherland. Run and skips Go Sapper. Major Barris, Darren Thompson, Tango, Orange, Kevin Meanhan, Peaches, David Robertson, Ashton, James Follis, Pros to there. Protest song, Liam Van Rensburg, all gate put Carl Arroganti, Tommy Gunn, Kevin Meanahan, Hawthorne, James Follis, No Pain, No Gain, Graham Clutterback, James Yogi, Derek Hinton, 100 Visions for Molly It's Powerful Beats for Molly It's Surfer, The Put for Carl Arroganti, Gay Brief for Martin Leadham, Black Absolute for Alex Cherry, Napoleon Gray for Stu Gray, Black Autumn for Alex Cherry, Half Hour Hancock for Stu Gray, Only Fools and Horses, Derek Hinton, Japan Novier and Reflect He's a Rarity for Doug Warren, and Uncle Bunch for Obi-Wan is 25, and the starter's got him away, and it's Uncle Bunch that's going to lead us. I think it's being pushed along in the yellow silks into the first and everybody's over it so excuse my voice if it's a little bit uh, croaky after calling uh, a race before the national half of the national and now on to this one so three of us three of them are leading into the second and it's uncle bunge the put and only fools and horses there are a couple of lengths uh, away from run and skips. And then we've got the grey just leading the rest of the pack. Reflect he's a rarity. So they're through three. They're going to approach the next, which will be the fourth. Which will be the last next time round. The leaders are over it. And um, we've lost one. Major Barris has gone for Darren Thompson. Bad luck. A faller there. Past the winning post. We see him going away from us. There's a fair few that are going to get wide or get pushed wider here on this turn, as you can see. Even the game doesn't like it. The ones that have been really pushed wide are Peaches, Tommy Gunn, Gay Brief, and Tango Orange. They've already dropped uh, four or five lengths to the rear. But up front, it's the put that leads us with Uncle Bunge and only Fools and Horses. And there are a couple of lengths ahead of Run and Skips and James Yogi. And then we've got the Grey, Napoleon Grey and Ashton and all gate put against the fence. Outside of that is Black Autumn. Then we've got the Mighty Eight, Reflect He's a Rarity, the Grey on the outside of that and Hawthorne on the inside. They've been then followed through by Japan Novier, Half Hour Hancock, Protest Song, Powerful Beast, Sounds of the Marina Mid-Pack, 100 of Visions, No Pain, No Gain, Black Absolute Absolute. And then about three or four lengths back to the gay brief Tommy Gunn, Tango Orange and Peaches who got called out on that first bend. So they got over the fifth and everybody's still on their feet. Getting stretched out now. Watch them all go over. And it's Uncle Bunge, the put and only fools and horses. Leading them into the sixth. They rise together. Everybody's over that. Half hour Hancock didn't go through it particularly well. Lost a bit of momentum starts dropping back. So it's only Fools and Horses, the put, Uncle Bunge, although the gap between them has now been closed down by Napoleon Grey, Run and Skips and Ashton. We get to the lucky seventh. And everybody's over it. And it's still Uncle Bunge and the put, only Fools and Horses, Napoleon Grey, Run and Skips and Ashton. There are a couple of lengths on the chasing pack just being led by Black Autumn and Reflect. He's a rarity. And a couple tools, the fence there, James Yogi and all gate put. Uh, wider still is powerful base. They get to the eighth. The leaders are over it. This is the rest. The ones that have managed to get back onto tag onto the pack of Gay Brief, 100 Vision, Peaches, and Tango Orange. But up front is the put that's just got a neck advantage over Uncle Bunge. And the pink silks of only fools and horses for Del Hinton. The leaders are all over it. A nice, good, fast jump there by Run and Skips. So we've only lost one here. We've been through nine. Half the fences are done. Got a mile and a half to travel. And it's still Uncle Bunge and the put. Only fools and horses. These three have led from the beginning. They've now got a couple of links on Napoleon Grand Run and Skips and Ashton. They're going to the tenth. Oh, we're losing one there. Gay Brief's being pulled up, and I can't see Japan Novier. And Japan Novier's been pulled up as well, so the commentator's taking a bit of a pull up hit there. So it's only Fools and Horses, Uncle Bunge, The Put, Napoleon Great, Run and Skips, Ashton. Then we've got Hawthorne on the inside and the outside. Sorry, Hawthorne on the outside. Moving up on the inside, it's all Gate Put. Then we've got the Grey, Reflect He's a Rarity, Powerful Beast. They're being followed through by the Mighty Eight, James Yogi, Black Autumn. Then we've got Half Hour Hand. Cock. 
And then Tommy Gunn has moved up a little bit better than Black Absolute. 100 Visions. And Sounds of the Marina. No pain, no gain. Tango Orange and Peach is just bringing up the rear at the moment. So it's Uncle Bunch and only Fools and Horses. We've got a mile to travel. They're still there at the front. Puts just demoted himself a little bit, but he's got Allgate put on his inside, and Napoleon, sorry, Napoleon Ground is inside, Allgate put on his outside, and then there's Hawthorne running Skips and Ashton, so as they approach the 11th, the leaders are over it, oh, and we've lost one there, James Yogi's gone, bad luck, I think that's a Del Hinton horse, bad luck, mate, but he's still got one up the front, it's Uncle Bunder, only falls and horses take him into the 12th, the leaders are over it again, the rest of the pack have made it, but it's Uncle Bunch just being pushed along a little bit now. Wants to take advantage. We've only got six furlongs left to run as they approach the 13th. The leaders are over it, as is everybody else. A couple of sticky jumps. The Blue Silks of, uh, I think it was a protest song. They didn't get over it very well, but it's Uncle Bunch still being pushed along here. Only Fools and Horses on his outside. Jockey's not asked anything. Then we've got Allgate put. Napoleon Grey. Hawthorne being pushed along now, as is the put. Out of the pack comes Powerful Beast. They all get over the 14th. No, we've lost Black Absolute. He's been pulled up and run and skip some to his rider. I think it was on the last, but up front, it's still Uncle Bunch. He's got a four-length advantage now over. Hawthorne has moved up to second. Allgate put still there, running on well is Powerful Beast. Only Fools and Horses has got a bit of work to do now. Napoleon, Gran Ashton. They get to the 15th. Two from home. They're over it. It's still Uncle Bunge leading, but here comes Hawthorne on the outside. James Follis. Hawthorne takes it up with just two and a half furlongs left to run, but he's being chased down by Allgate Put here. Out of the pack, Powerful Beast, Napoleon Gray, and it's Hawthorne and Allgate Put, but it's Allgate Put that gets over the 16th. The penultimate takes up the lead. Allgate Put with a furlong and a half left to run. Out of the pack, here comes Protest on for Leon Bam 100 visions on the outside but it's all gate put running on well into the last a protest songs alongside now but it's all gate put and protest song they're going to take the last together let's see who rises best it's all gate put oh protest song was low all gate puts got away and now the pack comes the put it's all gate put the put Carl arrogant is a one two here fantastic all gate put Number one, the put, oh, uh, uh, all gate put and the put the puts make it the family of puts Daniel takes it for Carl Arroganti, Taunton, all those different names. Fantastic. A 1-2 here at Aintree. The Put family take it. Running in the Stu Grey Silks. Obviously done a delight there. Protest song for Liam Ravensburg was third. Fourth was 100 Visions for Molly at Surfer. Fifth was Hawthorne for James Follis. And then Sounds of the Marina, Saint Napoleon Grey, only Fools and Horses, long time leader, finished eighth. No pain, no gain for Graham Clutterbuck. Peaches, powerful beast, Tommy Gunn, the mighty eight. Was a bit unlucky, but I had to carry uh, a lot of weight there. And uh, leads us right down to half count. Hancock was the last one to finish, but at least he remained on his feet. OK, over to Martin for the, the hurdle version of the John Smiths and race number 20.